Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 70. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hold on. I got this as a gift yesterday. A world map. The new edition isn't officially released yet, but they gave it to me before I came out. What do you think? Is that a good thing? Of course! This is our empire, and we're at about right here. But why are they all col colored differently? Hmm. Orange is our country, and those in yellow are states protected by our empire. They say it's mostly thanks to the former Grand Duke. And here? Oh, shorts? Oh, it's ours now. Thanks to the current Grand Duke who won the battle. Huh? But why is this place colored differently from other protected states? Is it because it's a new addition? I also wanted to go with you, Sophie. Huh? Why? Don't you enjoy spending time with Lord Phoenix? He only makes me study. I shall deliver it to the former Grand Duchess. Next time, next time, take me with you. Okay. Trial reveals truth behind Count Zahart's death. Following the trial on the death of Count La Lawin Zahart, Lillian Lopez, late Count Zahart's former wife, was found guilty of murdering her former husband. The court ruled he did not die of illness. Lopez was sentenced to 35 years of hard labor in the convent. She was also forbidden to use the name Zahart. She had all... She had been dishonored as never before, as there has not been a single noble lady who was stripped of her family name after a trial. There needs to be a revisit to the prior flyer report, report claiming that Grand Duchess Lapillion has abandoned her knight bachelor lover for the sake of power. There is a common idea amongst most nobles, middle class, and commoners alike that the Grand Duchess must have has hastened the marriage of the Grand Duke to escape from her family after bearing daps of doubts about her father's mysterious death. Meanwhile, a month, a, a few months ago, the Grand Duchess donated the profit she raised from the fundraising auction to an orphanage belonging to the church. Journalist. It's the same journalist who wrote the flyer from before. It's the same person, but... Why the sudden change of heart? Sorry guys, that was, I'm not really good at reading like a whole paragraph without stuttering. Hmm. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 70. And the Grand Duchess figured this out. Yes, this is about the maid we discussed a while back. You also gave approval. She said you had the authority to decide what to do with this since you've given faith in her regarding this matter. She must, must have sent the maid to work at Young Master's residence to find out about this from the very beginning. According to the report, most servants in the residence are unwelcoming and lazy. They haven't transferred working locations thus far, which could be one of the reasons. They also overtly talked ill of young master, and they were very discreet in a way. They were especially careful during inspection. They even said that we wouldn't know unless we went deep inside. And thinking young master grew up listening to such things. Uh, no wonder he reacted that way. When I heard of it at first, I let it go, merely thinking that Maid grew sensitive to the fact that Grand Duchess would be leaving. But Parishati raised question on that part, I see. I was wondering how she would make use of that Maid. 
but she made me realize I should have seen this from a different angle from the start. I feel ashamed of myself. So this is why Selfie came to the capital and had an outburst towards servants. I changed the servants in Selfie's residence with those working at Cripp's house. As for the punishment, follow the clause written right below the confident, confident, tal, confidential lady. Hold on. I don't know how to say that right. Guys, it's hard. Hold on. Confidentiality. 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 That's... Okay. Confidential... Confidential... Out uh -huh. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Clause. That's gonna be hard. Like, I don't think I can ever say that like that without, like, stuttering. Confidentiality. Ooh, that's hard. Oh, yes, your grace. The punishment would be ex exempting payment besides bed and board, stripping them of their family's house provided by the Grand Dukedom, having them followed, and compensation worth seven years of their wage. We shall do as written, your grace. They won't be able to quit until they compensate in full, as we won't recommend them to work anywhere else. And we'll be telling each of them. They'll know it's their loss to quit. To quit. We shall have to move all the servants and the rest of the family's residence. From now on, change the working location of all the servants every three years. Parashati helped us learn this lesson. We must prevent this from ever happening again. And it's true, we haven't taken good care of Selfies. <sighs> Parishati seems to care a lot about Sif, Selfie. Young Master is also very fond of her grace. And how are things between her and Theo? Your grace. Uh... Well, as usual. Perhaps we could do something. It's fine. Her grace asked whether to make the two maids sent to the stable come back. Once the rest of the servants return from vacation, would you approve, your grace? Yes. She seems so stern. The flower the Grand Duke said it was to vilify the Grand Dukedom, not me. And I thought my stepmother made them write that article. The second Grand Duchess chooses the power of the Lapillians over love with a knight bachelor. I never knew that journalists would write a positive article about me. So who wrote the flyer? First... Let's solve my own problem. During trial, Princess Dodolia was the one to hire the lawyer for my stepmother. And I'm sure the princess is also in charge of the co covent where my stepmother would be working in. And I heard Reyna is still working for her. Hmm. I don't understand why I should go that far for a mere lady in waiting, but I should take a closer look at those around Reyna. <sighs> Let's discuss this with the Grand Duke first, then contact my uncle and... Greetings, Your Grace. Huh? Oh. Adius? Oh, his grace has asked for you, you say. And how's your arm? I'm fine, your grace. Hmm. Why am I so always surrounded by frail men? Oh. 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 Does his grace count too? So, what business does he have with you? Is something the matter? 
Well, he found out about the article I wrote at Elias. And the article I recently wrote at the Capitol, too. Uh huh. I didn't think his grace would find out so soon. <laughs> Actually, I'm that journalist. Oh! What? Oh, okay. This makes a lot of sense now. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. Honestly, I just, I really love reading, like, Selfie's voice. Like, it's, it's so cute, you know? And, like, of course... Oh, the little girl's voice. Oh, slutty is so, mm, it's so cute. I can't. All right. If you guys enjoy this, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.